It's one of the best things I ever did. What's next? Let's have it. Make sure I charge my Garmin, make sure I've charged my lights Make sure we get those bars in 10 miles and I'll be more than starving Nothing compares to the thrill, underprepared for the hills I used to get wheels on air, now I put air in my wheels Change that tune, train and cruise, chain's been lewd Pace and move, Strava stats give man a heart attack But then my pace improves, bars and cadence are strong Now my legs up, my cadence are long It's about time we do this, it's the cycling tattooist What is up guys? If you're new here, my name is Thomas Martinez and welcome to the channel. And if you're a regular, then welcome back. So first things first, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I certainly did. But one of the things is, you do tend to overindulge during Christmas. <laughs> and yeah, I definitely did that. I'm feeling it. And you've got to get out and burn it off, eh? <laughs> So that's exactly what I'm doing. Getting involved with a festive 500. Let's burn off them pies. Woo! So yeah, as I said, chipping away at the old festive 500. I've got a fair, fair bit of distance in the old bank. As I'm talking to you technically from the past, we're now two days after Christmas. And uh, yeah, as I said, <laughs> trying to burn off some of that gluttony. We're heading our way out to the usual meet point, which is the barge in Battlesbridge. Going to meet up with a few local dudes who uh, have all got the same thing in mind. Try and tick off the old Festive 500. What's that you got there, mate? <laughs> got a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> Looks like Dave's got himself a few issues for the hills we've got today. <laughs> yeah, Market Hill. Market Hill in Malden. I'm just gonna have to attack it. Oh my God. All right, there you go. That's what we've got in store later. A bit of full gas up. <laughs> a, uh, but it's pretty steep, that hill, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be in the double digits. If I get caught in traffic, <laughs> I'm walking up it. Well, we'll see what happens there. Yeah. Place your bets. Whether Dave manages to make it up. Yeah, good man. Yeah. So yeah, we've got a nice little easy ride today. I think the route is about 40 miles or so. Something like that. Just around our local roads here. The weather isn't actually too sad today. When I left the house it was four degrees, but it's definitely started to warm up a little bit, so I'm certainly not complaining. The only bad thing is though, as a lot of you may know, I did spend quite a bit of time out in Australia recently. I keep seeing all my uh, pals out there going on these lovely rides in the sun, actually complaining that it's too hot. <laughs> so <laughs> it's uh, in comparison to that, yeah, it's not quite that nice, but yeah, I'm not gonna complain. It's, uh, well, it's dry at least, so. Take the winds where you can. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was, uh, well, seeing as it's the new year, for a lot of people, that means New Year's resolutions. But one of the things is, you definitely should give yourself realistic expectations. Don't set that bar too high. You want it to be achievable after all. One of the things I quite like to do is, uh, I'll sort of set myself one big goal, which is kind of, you know, the one that I'll put a bit more pressure on myself to achieve. But like I say, I'll make it realistic, you know. I'm not going to set myself a goal of becoming an astronaut or anything like that. And then, yeah, I'll generally set myself a few uh, other goals as well, dotted throughout the year. Now, as some of you may know, one of my big goals two years ago was to uh, knock booze on the head. And yeah, I've done exactly that. I'll be, well, as this video drops, I'll in fact be exactly two years sober. And uh, well, it's one of the best things I ever did, I tell you that. And then last year's goal, again, as some of you may know, was to ride every single day this year. And as I'm filming this, I've actually got four more days left. I don't want to jinx it, but I'd like to say I've got it in a bag. So that's another big goal ticked off. And I guess now the only real question is, what's next? Look 
Look at this squad we've got out today. <laughs> Taking over the road. <laughs> Sorry, car drivers. So yeah, as I was saying, what's next for me and the channel? Well, first things first, quite literally, what's next, as in the next videos that are coming. Well, I'm pretty excited about these ones because, well, as some of you may know that follow me on uh, Instagram and Strava and that, you may have seen I went off on another trip to Spain. Yeah, I won't spoil anything, but I had an amazing time with a couple of great guys. So yeah, stay tuned for that next week. There'll be uh, a series of, I think, three videos. I haven't actually edited them yet, so <laughs> yeah, there'll be three videos from that trip. And yeah, as I say, I'm really uh, excited to share those with you. Are you going to stick this one up? Huh? Are you going to put this one up on YouTube? Yeah, I should do, yeah. It's always laugh when you post up the uh, spicy <laughs> ride. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a real curry and stay at home. <laughs> they do get a bit wild. As I mentioned earlier, we've uh, got a bit of a spicy hill coming up. It's only short, but uh, yeah, it's uh, certainly steep. We're just trying to find Dave on the old fixed gear. <laughs> I want to see how he gets on up this hill. Come on there, Dave. <laughs> no filming me walking. Yeah. All <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to put this camera away because things are about to get spicy. Let's have it. <laughs> How's that recovery ride go, mate? <laughs> Someone egged him on, didn't they? <laughs> Woo! You come past me, I was still still. <laughs> I'm just about getting my breath back after that. Oh, God. What's a social ride without a little bit of spice sprinkled on top, eh? Right, Tom, in the summer, I'll be going for that. What's that? We're going to get that, eh? We're going to get that. Say that again when I'm not squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> Said in the summer. We're gonna give that a good go. Yeah, we're gonna go back for it, are we? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what, how we fared today. I reckon we had a good few seconds off the con, but we'll give it a go. To be fair, that con's a bit of a tricky one because you got part of the flat. Yeah. It starts before the hill. Sprinkler's climb that one. Oh yeah, it's just com completely anaerobic, isn't it? Uh, Gosh. <laughs> how's your knees? Yeah, how'd you get on with that? Is it bad? No? The thing is he survived. <laughs> So we're back on the road after a cheeky little coffee and cake stop in uh, Malden Park back there. It was bloody nice, but the only problem is with stopping when it's uh, cold like this is you do start to freeze over. <laughs> I, uh, whew, I'm feeling it. Better turn them pedals and get warmed up again. We've done 27 and a half miles so far. Not too sad. Cruising along 18 and a half mile an hour. Yeah, what more do you want for this time of year? It's uh, perfect, really. As I said earlier, a good bunch of lads out today. Yeah, you really can't beat these sort of rides, uh, especially this time of year when, you know, you might be lacking a bit of motivation. It's always good to get out on a group ride. It's definitely going to make those miles tick away a bit easier. If you're someone that's maybe new to cycling and you haven't done a lot of group riding, I definitely suggest you get out and, uh, yeah, see what it's all about. And that's a rule. Us cyclists, we are a bit friendly. So if you do see a big group of uh, cyclists and you know, you don't know none of them, just uh, spark up a conversation and uh, you know, ask them where they're going. They, they'll probably invite you along. Anyway, let me get back to what I was talking about earlier. Obviously, I was saying about my goals for next year. And, uh, oh, probably not a good time to talk because I'm going down the hill. So yeah, next year, one of my big goals at the top of the list is to uh, hit the uh, race scene pretty hard. 
I did plan to do that this year, but it didn't materialize. So yeah, that's my number one focus, is get involved with some racing. I'm currently cat three, and the big goal is to get into that cat two. That's what I'm gonna be aiming for. What do you reckon, Russell, have I got it? Easy. Easy? Easy, mate. I don't know about that. <laughs> I can do it, you can do it. Well, you're a racing machine, though. <laughs> But yeah, gonna be, uh, yeah, like I say, getting involved with a lot of racing. Nothing really in particular, I kind of want to do it all. Probably more so the crits and that, but definitely want to do some road racing as well. And I am partial to a TT as well, so just really dive head first in and uh, see what I can make of it. Might be doing one in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah? Starting early, isn't you? Yeah. <laughs> might get some early points. Yeah, I might have to do the same then. Driverly Valley. Is that where it is? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I might just be up for that. Yeah, I reckon you'll be able to nick a few points, mate. Yeah, maybe that should be the plan. Steal a couple of early points. Steal early points, and it <laughs> makes your summer more enjoyable. Yeah. How'd you find that, mate? Yeah, it's lovely, mate. Thank you. Thanks Starting fun. to feel a little bit more confident in the group now? Huh? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Still like nervous. Yeah, it, no, it takes a bit of getting used to, doesn't it? And hitting bumps in that, and I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, so much fun. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how quick you like knock out the miles when you're in a group like that. Like, mate, it's crazy compared to solo, anyway. Yeah, man. I know you usually do a lot of solo, didn't you? Welcome back to the vlog, anyway, mate. <laughs> Long-term uh, viewers of the channel may even recognise this chap here, <laughs> Kit. He was actually on episode two, <laughs> which was, uh, that seems like a bloody long time ago now. Good to see him uh, out on the bike anyway. Yeah. Nice Smashing it in the group rides. I think he was a little bit worried about keeping up, but he's, uh, he's, doing, he's doing well. Certainly not getting dropped. Good towing. Nah, nah, you're smashing it, mate. So that's it, today's ride done and dusted. We ended up knocking out 47 miles, two and a half hours it took us. So yeah, nice social pace. That works out to be another 75 kilometers in the old Festive 500 bank. That now brings me up to a grand total of 310 kilometers. So yeah, nice old chunk done. Now tomorrow I'm actually off on another little trip. We're actually heading off to a small town called Blagden, which is uh, just outside the Bristol kind of area. Um, yeah, lovely roads around there. I went there a little while ago and absolutely loved it. So other than that, for the channel this year, I've got a lot of plans. I won't spoil any of them just yet, but yeah, there's a lot in the pipeline. Let's just say there's gonna be a fair few trips on the cards. I've got a few more challenges I wanna tick off the list. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for those. Just wanna end this video by saying a massive thank you to all you subscribers out there, old and new. It's been a really big year for the channel and the subscriber count has been going up and up and I cannot thank you all enough. So if you're not a subscriber, do the right thing, go click that button and subscribe and then you'll be able to keep up with everything I get up to next year. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,